The following bout is presented by Lonsdale. This bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds for the Bama Lonsdale British Middleweight Championship. Introducing first the man standing to my left and fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet one inch tall. He weighed in at 184 and one half pounds. He is a Muay Thai specialist with a record of 11 victories opposite five defeats with nine wins coming via submission. Fighting out of Sutherland, England, Andrew the Predator Punchon. His opponent stands across the cage to my right and fights out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall, his official weight 186 and one half pounds. He is a mixed martial artist with a record of 10 victories opposite a single defeat with eight wins coming via knockout. Fighting out of Abertillery, Wales, Jack the Hammer. Your referee to give the instructions, Mark Woodard. Pierre, this Take is a time. simple equation. Will Andrew Punchin do a Leroy Barnes and stand and trade with Jack Marshman? Because on paper, this is the grappler versus the striker. Eight knockouts for Marshman, nine submissions for Punchin. I'll take you back to the Tom Kong Watson fight versus Marshman. I believe he set up a blueprint. Stay on the outside, attack the legs, therefore affecting the mobility of Marshman. Ooh, huge knee. And I tell you what, the crowd is going bananas. Yes, and a low leg kick, chopping, two chopping leg kicks, and then the double leg takedown. And Punchin's where he wants to be very quickly in the first round. Like I was alluding to, Tom Kong Watts has set forth that blueprint. Let's chop the legs of Marshman, affecting his mobility and get him down to the ground because if he has a weakness, it's off his back. That's right. That's where Marshman hasn't really been tested because if you think of those first eight fights, they were straight KOs. It was Barnes that took him all the way but still lost. So Jack is used to finishing early and finishing upright. Now look at this. He's trying to reap the leg with his arm and switch the hips for a pos nice little re possible reversal there by Marshman. Marshman has been doing his homework. He's showing some new toys here tonight. He needs to, as I said, he's used to finishing and finishing early from the upright position. But these are still dangerous moments for him. There's a lot of time left in this opening round. Now look at this. Okay, that looked like a possible armbar attempt. However, Punch is able to pass the leg. Well, I'm glad you said that, Pierre, because when Punch is beaten, Four of his five defeats came by submission. He wins by submission, he tends to lose by submission. So now look at this here. The leg is high up on the shoulder. Possible arm bar slash triangle attempt right here. And I tell you what, Marshman has brought the A game here tonight. Well, this will be a shock if Marshman wins by submission. That will send out shockwaves throughout the MMA world. Now look at this, he possibly has an arm bar. Oh, look at that. Beautiful transition into a toe hold by Punchin. Punchin is really cranking that out. However, Marshman, a little bit of a scramble there. Marshman finds himself back on his back with Punchin in his guard. Man, this is exciting. I'm on the edge of my seat here tonight. Well, really has Marshman brought some new tools to the game, hasn't he? He looks like a totally different fighter, and I guarantee you, this is the most I've ever seen him on his back, or even on the ground for that matter, since the Tom Kong Watson fight. Now his left eye is cut. But no, it's his right eye, sorry, it's his right eye, I think. Now punching, I tell you what, this is the second or third time that he's found himself in this position. He's gonna have to do something here. The referee has taken a good look, and he's, he's tapped it out. Punching has tapped. I do not believe what I have just seen. Ladies and gentlemen, the new and improved Jack Marshman. Jack Marshman came over and said, who said I don't have submissions? This was against a submission specialist. He's the knockout king, and he gets a submission from his back. Everything from the moment they went to ground, 
Surely at Pierre we're thinking everything is now in Andrew Punchin's favour. How wrong could you be? After that, we'll be right back after this short break with the results. So, Pierre, at this point, it's all punch and This is where he's comfortable, this is where we feel safe. But look, it's actually the tap. Marshman can hardly believe it himself. And at first, you think it's punch and trying to stop the punches, but he's tapping. Wow, what a fight. And now we go to Mike Markham for our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at 2 minutes 31 seconds of the opening round. We have a tap out, your winner by submission via triangle choke, Jack the Hammer Marshman! So if I could just dive straight in there, Jack, if I could grab you quickly. So Jack Marshman, stand-up fighter, now pro boxer, wins by submission. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Just walked up. <laughs> uh, now, people were saying, I know the, the two commentators were, uh, they were saying, you've done your homework. You took you down, you managed to stuff everything, and then you took it. Talk us through what you've been doing recently. Yeah, I've just been working on my ground a lot, you know. I started jiu-jitsu before I started boxing, so i just improving that area even more. Now, the weight cut, because the belt isn't there, you've lost the belt, you've still only lost once, and that was to Tom Kong Watson, which is, you know, there's no shame in that at all. What happened with the weight cut? Yeah, after fighting Tom, I decided I need to put a bit of size on because I'm too small for the weight. I did that and then found the cut really difficult. I came in a pound over and I've lost my belt for it, but next Bama, next middleweight, whoever. Maybe the world title fight again. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Because now, I mean, you're a man who has lost and sometimes you have to lose to become a real champion. You've lost ones, you seem to be so much stronger. Yeah, that fight with Tom improved me no ends, you know. I was 21 in a world title fight. Bit much, bit, bit fast, but I learned from it and I don't regret it one bit. And it's still worth saying you're a serving paratrooper. Yeah, yeah, I'm still thankful to my regiment for letting me get time off the train. Thanks, everyone. Well, listen, I think everyone here, you're a, you're a fantastic champion. It was a great win tonight. Put your hands together for your winner, Jack Marshman. And while we're here, I think it's worth talking to a very gallant runner-up, Andrew Punchin. Uh, you're a man who tends to win by submission, and you've lost a lot by submission as well. Yeah, what can I say? I maybe underestimated Jack's submission game a little bit. They say expect the unexpected. I didn't probably expect the unexpected as it, as it happened. Um, yeah, he's a great fighter, and I knew it would have been great to win the fight, but what can I say? I've lost him move on and, and correct the things where I went wrong sort of thing. It was a fantastic start, you came flying out the blocks. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to be fast start, I know Jack likes to have a fast start, so I thought I'd jump at him straight away, push him on the back foot, that was the plan, and I was in a nice range and I, I threw it away myself and I need to work and I miss him, well done to Jack anyway. Well, they were, they were very brave words and they're great words as well. A gallant runner, put your hands together for this man here, Andrew Punchin.